All right, guys, we are back on the Minecraft server with Church Mag, and I am over at my house. Um, I wanted to show off just a little bit of what I've been doing. First of all, let me take you downstairs. Um, show off the full basements where we're at as far as everything down there. Kind of give you a little bit of view. I've added just a couple more. So this is the basement. I love this place. Still haven't fixed all that stuff. But we got some things going. We got a chest of extra stuff in there. Still haven't done any decorations in here. I'm terrible with decorations, guys. I'll be honest. But um, decorations aside, I have put in this um, little... Ooh, let me show you this. So we were on Realms. And we decided with the number of people that are on, we average um, typically between two. Right now we got two um, and six people playing all at one time. And the realms were actually slowing down sometimes when we were playing. And this bed situation was causing a lot of issues with us. So we decided to jump back onto a new server. So we have, it's not 100% vanilla, um, but it's pretty close. It's pretty darn close. So here is um, this path I put in. I really like it. In fact, the best part about it is if you jump, you fly, which is really cool. Um, you can get a whole lot of speed going this way. We also, over here, I've been helping two and five over here. We have a couple of people, <laughs> a ton of villagers. Um, we have a nano farm for breeding the villagers and then if we go really far out here I'm not going to go the full distance but if we go really far out there there's the village breeder and I don't know if he's torn it down yet he tried to do I know right no brown coats actually I think there's one um, we tried to do an iron farm oh it looks like he has moved it now oh sweet he did move it um, it was too close and it was disrupting the breeder so we couldn't actually do any breeding of villagers anymore. So he's got that working now, which is good. We'll eventually have some iron and I will use and abuse that thing. Um, so what I want to do today, I'll show you the rest of the path over here. Um, the, what I want to do today is I keep promising you guys that um, one of the big things about this season is I'm not going to be like helping people and then I create a whole bunch of shops that help people. I realize I'm jumping back into my old habits. Um, it is a little bit of a source of income for me. Um, in fact, I actually made another shop for ender chests because I needed ender chests and I figured I could just make a whole bunch and then sell some for some diamonds. So this path goes all the way out here, goes to our snow farm to our nether portal and then if you go all the way through it takes us over here because I've been promising you guys in a, a game area I'm gonna call it kinda of like an amusement park um, but Minecraft style and that is going to be the gaming area and so I figure right here I need to create an entrance so this is gonna be the path that goes into the park um, but right here we need like a huge sign at the top of the highest points in this little area so like a huge sign here and maybe like once you come up over the crest of this there's gonna be like an entrance area where like if you go if you ever been to like Disney World or an amusement roller coaster park you have to buy your tickets so I figured maybe that's what we can do right here so I'm going to jump on a live stream probably like two or three live streams honestly because I don't have tons of resources I need so many more spruce logs um, and actually make a sign. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I probably will have, maybe I'll have an answer next time. I don't know. Actually, how about this? Best person that can come up with like a, no more than two words if you want to make it end in a land, because I have to write this on a sign. So I'm going to leave, I'm not going to put like caps on the end of the sign. Um, but come up with a word that I can write out in quartz. Don't make it like super califragilisticexpialidocious. I won't do that. Um, but if you can think of like a good name and not like something cheesy like the church mag, church mag land, that seems kind of silly. Um, I will credit you. Uh, I will use your name for this. So if you pick one I like, I will use. Otherwise, I'll come up with a name myself. So let me jump on the live stream real quick and I'm going to get going I'm putting the sign and the basics of an entrance area together right now. 
a quick interrupted break before we get back to the building. We are over here. I believe this is Wesley's house, <clears throat> who is on the uh, server a lot. You'll know that last time um, he was on here, I made a couple trips to his place, mostly because I had to prank him. And we now have an iron farm again, which means <laughs> I have red flowers again. And I figure he's over here in the savanna, kind of like the Lion King, Lion King. There's no decorations out here. So let's just give him some decorations. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love doing pranks. This is the first prank of the entire series. And I think we need to, I'm just gonna keep going. Give me a little bit and then I'll come back and uh, show you what I did. Give me one sec. All right, if you were curious what nine stacks of flowers looks like, it's not overwhelming, but <laughs> it's very nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. I didn't want to put it all in one place. I just want to make sure he had a nice view wherever he was. What's up with all the holes in his house? That's interesting. Um, but yes, it looks very nice. Mr. Wesley, you're welcome. I uh, salute you, sir. All right, let's get back to the build. All right, so first of all, I'm working on my um, storage system in here. I had this old storage sy system going um, because I wanted to kind of make everything super compact, unlike my last one where it was just kind of a long hallway. I'm gonna go for a different storage system which, if you don't know, it's uh, based off of Tango Tech, I believe is his name. Um, so that's the storage system. I'm not even going to show you how I made it. You can go check his channel out. Um, just look for storage systems. But it's really nice. It's auto-sorting, so I can literally come in over here. And I don't know, let me just grab something from here. Well, it's not actually fully set up yet because there's nothing in there. Um, but you can throw it in there and it automatically will sort and then anything extra eventually will come out here and eventually into that box. So, I really like it. Anyways, let's go take a look at the sign. And I also did a little bit of work on um, the area of where it'll be. Um, I'm not going to build the house this episode just because I want to kind of get a look at the... Um, what the name's gonna be because I think that'll play a little bit into like if I'm going fun or if I'm going um, more like amusement park amusement land so I feel it's like one end is the Disney side of things the other end is like the roller coaster side of things I'm leaning more on the roller coaster side of things and just kind of having a very formal entrance nothing super special but we'll see anyways here's a sign let me go back first of all Here's the view from up top. How cool is that? I gotta adjust the pond so it's one thing higher, but you literally can look down in here, see all the redstone, which is super cool. You can see the actual um, storage system. I like that. I really, really like that. Um, anyways, I need to close it up though because of mobs. So you're coming this way, and you see a sign. Oh, and it's gonna have quartz as the lettering, and so you'll see the name. Maybe it's Snow Snowland or Jeremy Park, I don't know. You guys come up with the name for me. Um, and so that'll be the sign. And if you look at it, it's got a bunch of different texture to it, but the actual sign is just consistent. Um, it's a thick sign, so I almost thought about making it thinner. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it for now just to see how the quartz looks with it. I love the snow. I love the snow on everything. And then you come in here, here's the hedges to the entrance of it. And, oh, the snow, okay. So the snow's covering up a whole bunch. I'm gonna have to fix this. The snow covers up all the bricks. That's interesting. Um, but we got snow here. I'll have uh, some kind of lighting system for it. Um, I'm planning on putting it under here which will probably actually smell the snow up there. Oh well. Um, and then you come over here and this will be where the building is. So imagine like maybe a water fountain here. Um, the 
won't freeze over. You'll have like a building where you technically can buy the tickets. And then there will be like an, a gate here, which will have like gate doors that you have to go through. Um, and then once you pass this, then we'll actually be in the theme park. And this way will be a thing. This way will be a ride. This way will be something. So there's a lot of stuff. I want to do some rides. I want to do some competition things. Um, I have a lot of fun things set up for this. So that's kind of the basic ideas of this entire land. Um, but one thing we are going to need for sure is some more spruce wood. So I figure while we're waiting for um, the snow to clear up and come up with some in, um, some inspiration from you guys as far as the name of it, let's cut down s this stuff I think is made out of spruce. Yep. So we got a little bit of it, but then we also got some dark oak. Um, but while we're waiting for that, I wanted to talk to you guys just a little bit about fun. So one of the things I know a lot of people talk about um, with video games is this idea of, is it okay to play video games? We've actually had this conversation previously on this channel about what, what are the thoughts as far as video games. Um, and in that time we had talked about with everything in moderation, um, that we need to make sure that we are looking at this from a moderation standpoint. And then there's the conversation, if you don't know, I'm um, one of the moderators over at Theology Gaming website. And in the Theology Gaming website, they talk about discernment. So you have to have a good level of discernment to understand what moderation is. I think though that even beyond the conversation of discernment, and people want to have the conversation of discernment with this topic I'm going to bring up, um, but I don't think it's, I think it's inherent to it, but not necessarily a conversation starter. So if you don't know what discernment is, discernment is being able to wisely um, understand and have a conversation about something. It, discernment is not, hey, I Googled something for two seconds and I am irrationally upset and so I'm just going to give you the top of my head answer. That's not discernment. Discernment is sitting down, having a um, productive conversation with somebody, um, praying about it, thinking about what's going on in their life, and very slow to decide what's going to happen, and very intentional about listening to the parties that are talking about what's going on. But specifically um, within Christian discernment is in prayer and talking with God about it, um, asking what he specifically wants, because ultimately that's what is most important is what God wants for us um, and what we need to be doing for him. I think when we talk about discernment, though, that there's this understanding that maybe we already have the answer to this. Um, no, the Bible does not talk about video games. I'm not going to pull a Bible verse out that says, the Bible says that you should play co-op and um, thou shalt not play Fortnite. That's not what's going to happen in this, though. That would be sweet verses. Um, but I do think that um, when we look at Scripture, specifically when we look at um, some of the Proverbs and some of um, Hebrews, it talks about how we need to find rest, we need to do things with intentionality, and that we need to take care of ourselves and specifically God honoring ways. I can sit in front of this computer and play video games, and I've done this, I will be honest, I've done this where I played video games way too much um, as a kid, as an adult, and played it more than I should have, knowing full well I have been playing too much. Um, but I also know that there are times where I'm frustrated with myself, worried about the future, and just generally in a funk or maybe even some depressive symptoms of just like not wanting to go out and do anything. And video games can be a mode of um, healing of kind of sitting and renewing yourself. And you might be a person that says, oh, you should go out and you should go talk to other people. The problem with that is, is for some people that's work. 
Uh, when I was in youth ministry, going out and talking to people was literally my job. And I'm an introvert, meaning I don't like to necessarily go and talk to people. Um, it takes a lot of energy for me to do that. Um, doing something like this podcast or this uh, Let's Play and then doing like podcasts I have or vlogs that I've done in the past that I've recorded, um, those don't necessarily take as much energy for me to do. My wife tells me that I sometimes talk more to the video camera than I do to um, her directly about certain things, about feelings that I have. And um, whilst I do need to be talking to her about this stuff, I think the fact that I can kind of verbalize what's going on to kind of sit with my thoughts for a little bit and have that discernment to allow myself to not be emotional and instead to rationally think about something is actually really, really important. Um, I don't want it to be an escape where I don't have to think about life at all. I don't want it to be something where um, I'm avoiding my problems and it shouldn't be something that um, is how you deal with all of your problems every single time. That's not healthy. That is not what I'm talking about here. But what I am talking about is, is when we get into a place where we find that we can um, allow ourselves to just take a minute for ourselves to play some video games, um, which actually may be a healthy thing, um, especially if we are doing it um, in a God-honoring way, and then come back to the life that we're um, supposed to be doing. I, I um, know people love to read books, and it's renewing for them, and it's exciting to be able to kind of dive deep into someone's mind that has some philosophical stuff. And you know what? We talk about that stuff on here. So there's no difference between it, except I'm not a 150-year-old person that didn't have video games to play and to talk to two people. So what's the difference between this and reading a book? Even if it's knowledge, even if it's literature, it's not Bible. I'm not comparing the Bible to this. Um, but what's the difference? And some people would say you need to only be reading the Bible and no other books. I'm not going to have that conversation. That's a completely different conversation that I don't feel equipped to have. Um, but I do think that it's important to recognize that a lot of people will read simply for the fun. A lot of people will watch TV because it's fun, because it gives them a time to decompress, to relax, to calm down. Um, people will sing. They will... Um, play video games. Some people would even say that um, in that having fun that it's worshiping God and what they're doing. Um, I don't know where I stand on that as far as worshiping God through video games, but I'm not going to, I'm going to have a discernment answer and I'm going to think about that conversation as opposed to immediately saying no. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Um, <laughs> I, I intentionally had a um, prank episode now because it's fun, right? And that's what we were talking about is, is video games are fun. So I wonder what you think. Um, I'd actually love to have a discerning thought from you guys about um, how video games could be, I'm not saying it is, but could be seen as a form of worship. Um, we didn't touch on this, but video games are most definitely a way of being creative and having a creative outlet. I don't necessarily get much creativity in my um, counseling experience. And so this is absolutely a way for me to be creative. I'm, I can't sing. I'm not going to go sing and dance. Um, and so this is absolutely a way for me to be creative, whereas other people would have a guitar, have art, paintings. Look at this. How is this not creative? How is that not creative? How is that not a way to... Um, take a minute for myself and in the same time recognizing that I'm doing it to honor God. Come on, people. Absolutely, that's what this is. There it is. I love that. So, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic, um, as well as what is a good name for this. Um, leave your guys' comments down below, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.